Hello everyone, I'm Eli with Mystic Circuits and uh, we make a wide variety of purple and rainbow modules. Um, and the best way to experience them are with these handy 3D glasses they give you at the booth. It's so, true. Yeah. yeah, for the rest of the video, we'll just shoot through that. It's, uh, yeah. If only it fit over the whole camera. But um, if oh, you yeah. like that sort of thing, Rainbow Symphony are the people who make our glasses, and they definitely sell things that'll fit over your entire camera. Um, yeah. So at this show, we're showing off uh, Anna 2. It's the first of our uh, second uh, Mark II modules that we've ever done. Uh, there was a while, you know, We've had an issue of just like keeping everything in stock. We're a small company and it takes a lot of money to manufacture things. And so there was a little while where I was able to remake Anna and I was looking at it. It was like one of the first modules I ever made and I was like, I could make it better. So I made a version two. Um, that's what we're showing off here. Uh, it has two new, two more inputs and three more outputs. It's a, it's a logic module. So it takes two things, gives you nine different ways to sort of combine those two signals and give you all these different interrelated uh, wave shapers that come out of it. Um, and then uh, we're also showing off 3D VCA, which is our most recent uh, release. It's a quad VCA and 6HP, which already makes it pretty unique. But um, it, we were able to do that by using three macro controls to control the entire VCA as a group. So you get X, Y, and Z, which turn off like top and bottom, left, right, and then all four of them. And that lets you do a bunch of different functions that a normal VCA would have trouble keeping up with. It has uh, the ability to send one signal to four different places. You can mix four signals down to one output. It takes two stereo pairs, crossfades between them, balances the left and right, and then does the overall volume. And uh, it can also do quadraphonic panning. It's DC coupled, so it works with voltages, it works with LFOs, it works with gates, and they daisy chain. So you can have them just mixing your entire patch all the way down the line using just 3D BCAs. And we'll check it out in a second, but it almost kind of reminds me of like vector synthesis a, a yes. little bit. Actually, yeah. Um, the circuit we use in order to create the uh, four quadrants is called an axis generator, which is what they usually use in vector synthesis. And that was a big part of the idea is, especially at trade shows, it's like I kept having being in all these situations where I had to unpatch something because I wanted to show like a distortion or a wave shaper with, you know, a pure sine wave and then like a bass line and then a drum machine and maybe like a right. sample of somebody talking or something like that. And so I wanted to have an easy way to be able to reroute everything without having to repatch every single time because it just became impossible to follow what was happening. And so right. uh, 3D VCA can do that sort of vector synthesis where you have the four sounds and then maybe a complex envelope or LFO that's mixing between the four sounds and then giving you the sum of all of those things. But um, I, I mostly use it for its stereo mixing capabilities. My, before 3D VCA, my music was very kind of like mono oriented or if there was some stereo stuff it's like okay that sounds going over there and then that sounds going over there and then maybe the drums are in the middle and then maybe the bass line is on the right side but now with 3 VCA I, everything everything that I make has some kind of interesting stereo image or panning uh, movement going on and it feels like way more dynamic to have that uh, that stereo capability with, with that much sort of like intuitive voltage control over it. I love it. So, can we get a little demo of what all of that's doing? Sure. Yeah. So I have three three PCAs here. Each one is doing its own thing. Uh, I have one of them, which is crossfading between the two outputs of the lats. So you can hear we have one sound here, the other one there. You can't hear this, but it also is doing the panning and the overall level. We have a second one, which is doing a bass line, which is coming from the three body, which is going through and a two, treating it as a distortion. And we have some voltage control and panning and uh, crossfading of the different filter outputs. And we have a third one over here, which is doing a sort of uh, voltage controlled selection of a polyphonic oscillator. I apologize if it's getting chaotic, but I take that out. Uh, this is sort of doing a polyphony patch. I have been in a selecting which of the oscillators are active, and then you can see on each of these it's sort of doing this voltage control polyphony stuff. And then finally I also have my drums, which have a stereo output, being mixed into the one of the sub inputs up here. So if I do this, this, this entire patch is being mixed together by three of these again. And uh, I continue to these kind of like a mixer channel where it's like I don't really want the polyphony 
definitely. If you're watching at home, get one of these glasses. Yeah, you got it. Whole different experience. And then uh, I'll turn on IDUP just for case. to get any of this, where's the best place to find it? MysticCircus.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eli. Pleasure to Appreciate meet you. It. Yeah, you. hell yeah.